The European food and drink industry is an important pillar of the European economy, serving approximately 500 million consumers with a vast variety of safe and high quality products. It's the largest manufacturing sector in Europe, with a turnover of 913 billion euros a year, and provides employment to over 4 million people. As such, difficulties in traceability procedures can have severe consequences, including lack of consumers' confidence in food safety. Additionally, many of the existing implementation of the traceability process, especially in SME, should be improved to increase their competitiveness. However, Given the cost structure in this sector, the impact of the redesign has to be minimized in terms of budget. Assuring the stability of food and feed along the world chain from production to consumption is a cornerstone of European Union policy of the quality and safety of food. This is a complex procedure involving identification, detection and processing of a vast amount of information. Moreover, any traceability technology to be applied to the food sector requires a high, reliable, and low cost system. In agro food sector, it is necessary to control the entire food chain. Independent controls by each food chain player are not sufficient and not cost effective. The entire food chain needs to be processed with advanced tools for governing food safety and quality. This is why the results of European project is back are very, very important. Traceback is a 4 years integrated project supported by the FP6 of the European Commission. The main objective of the project is to develop tools for innovative traceability systems for the entire food chain, with the aim of preventing food chain crisis and providing further information to the final consumer. The use of traceback system will encourage quality and competitiveness through the European food sector. In order to set the boundaries of new approach for traceability, it has been defined a traceability reference model, contributing to the requirements analyst for ICT services. It is focused on the concept of trace point and includes a specific CRM applications for stakeholders, events and attributes, such as crisis management, event and RASF stakeholder. So, they're in an open path to define a common language for connection food chain process and it's mapping another ICT requirement analysis tool. Additionally, traceback results keep the coherence with existing and potential standards, for instance SSCC, GTIN, GTIN Plus and so on, with the aim of ensuring the high level of safety in relation to food products. Uh, the component, the participant of the work package number five, so substantially moving the lot in two main, uh, two main tracks. One more focused on uh, uh, sensor and uh, molecular sensor, biosensor, new and uh, uh, conventional type of sensor to use in specific uh, uh, conditions. The other on the implementation of information, communication, technology and artificial intelligence to combine with this sensor. This has been the summarize of this uh, approach in this continuum. ARPIS, which stands for Reference Architecture for Traceability Information Systems, is a software engineering tool to develop service-oriented traceability systems by exploiting the current and the future web technologies. RAPIS is a coordinated set of specifications which defines the infrastructure common to several traceability systems and the interfaces of components that will be included in them. Thus, those services are the basic building blocks of traceability information systems. The services are specified by Unified Modeling Language UML, models and are further documented by additional formal or informal descriptions. The specifications are available in the RAPIS wiki. According to our vision, new web-oriented traceability systems should be conceptualized as an integration of both existing and new services in the web. The main concern of Traceback project is to be young studies and apply all the theories and lab results in real environments under industrial conditions. 
especially for the band sensors and micro devices as well as the ICT information and communication technology tools. It's essential to test and validate this new approach proposed by Traceback in real food supply chain in order to demonstrate the routine applicability of these results under industrial conditions. Just because uh, quality is a strategic issue, everything that can improve the quality control level on our product and can assure a higher level of knowledge of uh, our consumer about the added value and the quality of our product is interesting for us. And that's why uh, the Tresbeck product is uh, perfectly in line with, with this kind of issues. At the same time, through the component, the device manager will automatically connect the devices, such as, uh, for instance, RFID, humidity and sensor, um, electronic nose or machine vision. And this can be done in the same way with devices not even existing today, or previously used by the component. Another fundamental aspect within the focus of the project has been to establish the deep relationship with the food industry in order to involve them into the objective of the project. Traceback industrial platform, with a region focus to adapt to the specific issues of different countries Sweden, Spain, Poland, Italy, Turkey and Egypt, with the additional goal of creating new focuses projects related to the issues of traceability following the Alnar model. As a result of the project, there is the plan of producing some deep impact in the society and economics, support public authorities in implementing food safety legislation underpin the safety and quality of the food chain at the cost of only between 1 and 2% to producers and processors, help enterprises to comply with legislation, open new market opportunities in high-tech and food products, especially for SMI, enable faster reactions to outbreaks of food contamination, minimize the consequence economic and health risk, reduce the gap between the industries and the scientific research promote quality agro-food products competitiveness around Europe.